Hello friends, welcome to Dental Excellence Academy. We are placing implant in the region of 4, 5 and 4, 6 that is lower right region. So we have taken a CVCT and planned the case accordingly. We have calculated the width and the height. So these are the digital implant we have placed. You can see we have placed two implants. So this is the radiograph before implant placement. So we have prepared a removable partial denture and created a hole in that so that we can get an idea whether where to place the implant. So this is as good as a guide. So we have already injected the patient. So now I am starting with the crystal incision. Now this is the crevicular incision. In this region I don't give vertical incision as we are close to inferior alveolar nerve that is mental foramina is very close to our surgical site. We will just reflect the mucosa and again we will try the removable partial denture. So now it is not fitting properly because we have reflected the gingiva but just we can hold it in place and we will Start with the lancet drill. So we'll get the idea and exact position of the implant. So yes, I have started drilling. Again, now I'm starting the osteotomy in the region of four six. It is just to get the idea. If at all we are at the wrong place, we can change it. But yeah, we are exactly at the position. But because of the less bone on the buccal side, I am keeping it to the lingual. So I am giving pressure more on the lingual aspect so that we can save the bone on the buccal side. So these are the initial drills. Now I'm checking for the parallelism and the position of the implant. Yeah, this is the first radiograph and you can see they are almost parallel to each other and adjacent tooth also. So now we'll be starting with our drilling protocol. As we have planned the implant of 4.5 by 10 and 4.5 by 11.5 in the region of 4.5 and 4.6 respectively. So we will finish off the osteotomy. This is 2 mm drill. Uh, this is 2.8 mm. So you can see I am giving more pressure on the palatal aspect. So bone is of D2 to D3 type of a bone. So, we'll try implant directly. So, some cases you have to under drill.
so it is not going to the desired length so again we will shift to the next drill so you can see i am giving pressure more on lingual aspect because we have a very thin bone on buccal side yeah now it is we are going quite smooth so with the help of ratchet i am going to the at least you have to be equicrystal if not subcrystal so now i am putting the cover screw So now we'll place the implant in the 46 region. So it is 4.2 by 11.5. So with the help of ratchet, I'm going deeper so that I am at the desired position. So try to go at least one millimeter subcrestally. So that much of bone loss you can expect over a period of time. But you are, if you are prosthesis is good, there will not be any bone loss. So see, post of radiograph, we are almost equicrystal and parallel to each other and to the adjacent teeth also. So we will be starting with the suturing. So again, same protocol. We have to be, we have to give very tight sutures so that there should not be any food lodgement. First I am giving a single suture. On both the side and in middle, I'm going to give a figure of eight suture so that we can close the case properly. So you can see. We have given a figure of X feature in the middle. Now we will check with the OPG and it is almost parallel. So thank you for watching. So do visit our channel, do subscribe. Thank you once again.